Good morning and welcome to Emerge. Today is Thursday, April the 18th, 2019, and it is another beautiful day that the Lord has given us. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. God is great all the time and all the time God is great. So today, on this April 18th, God led me to the scripture text of Luke chapter 18 and the surrounding chapters. So what was going on in the book of Luke chapter 4? A lot was going on. Jesus was in the wilderness for 40 days and 40 nights being tempted by Satan. And Jesus was able to overcome all of the trips and traps of Satan for those 40 days and 40 nights. So after he returned back, he went to the temple. When he went to the temple, it was his turn to read and he was asked to read from the book of Isaiah. When Jesus read the scripture text, he read, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to preach the good news to the brokenhearted, to give sight to the blind, to give liberty to the captives, and to set the captives free. So after Jesus read that scripture text, he said that these scriptures are fulfilled. These scriptures are fulfilled. And when Jesus said that, hysteria broke out. Hysteria broke out because people began to wonder, the people that surrounded him, the high priest, they wondered, who is Jesus to say that these scriptures are fulfilled? Who does he think he is? They did not know that Jesus knew exactly who he was. He knew that he was the son of God and it was time for him to emerge. It was time for people to know who he was. He was getting ready to go through some things. He was getting ready to go through some rejection. Also in the book of Luke chapter 4, it talks about a prophet is rejected in his own country. A prophet is rejected in his own country. And there was someone that was around Jesus and Jesus said to them, the time is now. The time has come. The time is now. The time has come. So it was time for Jesus to emerge. Jesus was on assignment. He was on divine assignment. And against all odds, Jesus went forth and carried out the mission of God, which gave glory to God and which gave salvation to man, which gave freedom to the captives. God is so good and great. God is so amazing and mighty, and God is with us. God was with Jesus at that time. Even when Jesus was dealing with the rejection of man, the rejection of his own people, Jesus knew that God was with him. Jesus went through so much. As I walked through this bridge, Jesus went through this thing and that thing as he went through Passion Week. He went through so much ridicule. He was beaten, he was abused, he was mocked. They treated Jesus so terribly. But Jesus was on assignment for the Lord. He knew that it was his time to fulfill the mission that God sent him, the purpose that he had. And he knew that God would be glorified and that victory will come. If Jesus decided not to go forth, if Jesus decided not to emerge, if Jesus decided to not take the cup that was passed onto him, where would we be today? Where would this world be today? So we must remember Jesus and we must thank God for Jesus and thank God for all that he has done in our lives. As we emerge, we need to emerge with courage. As we emerge, we need to emerge with strength. As we emerge, we need to emerge with faith, trusting and believing that God will never leave or forsake us, trusting that he will direct our path and never leave us astray. So as we go forth in this life and through this day, be encouraged, remain resilient, and just keep on reaching for the Lord. God bless you.